Hello guys, Lady here and today I decided to make a video about the iPhone X. So long of us, what would you make a video about such an old iPhone? Like what's even the hype about it? Is there even hype? Who is buying this phone in 2024? And that's what we're gonna answer. So should you buy the iPhone X in 2024? So you know the iPhone X, you're all familiar with it. This was the revolutionary iPhone, you might the 10th anniversary since the very first iPhone was launched and it was supposed to change the iPhone forever and since the iPhone X appeared, this is how all the modern iPhones we know until today started to look like. Even we got an iPhone Pro with the launch of the iPhone 11. So let's just go out to the history, how the iPhone happened what was the biggest change compared to the other iPhones that existed at the time? And of course, answer the question, is it worth it to spend your money on an iPhone X in 2024? Or you should look to something more modern. So the iPhone X was launched in 2017 alongside with the iPhone 8. First they introduced the iPhone 8, then they introduced the iPhone X. And for all those people who ask why there would be two iPhones in the same year, well, it marked the 10th anniversary, as I already said, of the very first iPhone, so Apple had to celebrate it. And what a better way to celebrate this with a brand new iPhone. So the iPhone X was influential from the iPhone 8 Plus because it kept the dual cameras. We also have telephoto, they were 12 megapixel cameras, but also it got rid of the Touch ID button. So instead of Touch ID button, this was the biggest change for the iPhone we had facial recognition, which Apple kept until today. Of course, you can unlock it with a password, but this was a new and quicker way for you to unlock your iPhone. They kept the exact same chip in the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X. Also, they have the same battery life, but we have stainless steel versus the aluminum, which we used to have. So basically, the iPhone X was supposed to be the change that will move forward to the next iPhone that we have and as you can see there is no more Touch ID button even it was rumored that the next iPhone SE we still don't know when it will come but it might not have a Touch ID button anymore so we might get rid of this forever yes there are still some phones that have the fingerprint at the back of the phone but as I see most companies are getting rid of this and if you have an older iPhone 14 and you compare it to the 15, the bezels are getting even thinner. Also, the old school notch is not a thing anymore, at least for the iPhone. So as you can see, the iPhone X was the change that was transforming into the rest of the iPhones. Another difference between the iPhone X and the iPhone 8, first of all, is the capacity. They kept the 64 gigabytes but now they switched to 128 with 256 gigabytes also now we have super retina hdr display we also have hdr display and they have improved the resolution of the iphone to make it even smoother and faster for the experience of the user so basically just to wrap it all iphone x was supposed to be the change that it will pass on to the next iPhone, just getting better and better. Because if you compare the iPhone X with the latest iPhone, the iPhone 15, you see how many changes have been made. First of all, we have the Pro phone. Then we got introduced to triple cameras that nobody probably even imagined. Yeah, compare the very first iPhone with the latest one, you see what I'm talking about. So these were the changes. But let's talk about why they needed an iPhone XS and an XR, why they just didn't do the iPhone 11? Like, what these two phones have like a difference from the original iPhone X, or let's just say why they exist. The difference of the iPhone XS versus the regular iPhone X is first of all, they added one additional battery life hour to the regular XS and two to the XS Max. Also, it has the A12 bearing chip, and we jump from two core neural engine to eight core neural engine. And for the first time, we got introduced to 512 gigabytes of storage, which was kept up to 256, and that stays until today. So you know the 
base iPhone lineup is up to 512 gigabytes and we get one terabyte option if you buy an iPhone Pro. So what about the iPhone XR? First of all, the screen got slightly larger. We went from 5.8, both for the X and the X, to 6.1 inches. Also, we have aluminum. We have one camera, not two. We have only one single camera. And I have to say, if I look at hardware from the back of the phone, it kind of reminds me of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE. So this is the iPhone XR, this is the iPhone 8, and here we have the latest iPhone SE. If we don't look at the front, only at the back, they kind of look similar. I can see where the influence is, but I have to say that the iPhone XR probably has one of the most colorful lineups. Many people were complaining that the color lineup for the iPhone 15, they're like this washed of color, basically a drop of color and everything else is just like water. So basically, I have to say that they did a very good job with the colorful lineup for the iPhone XR. Even with the red iPhone, I expected Apple to keep doing this with the iPhone 15, but there was no red iPhone this year. I don't know if they're permanently removing the red iPhone. Will they make comeback with the next iPhone? We had it for the iPhone 14, but in general, these three phones, the iPhone X, the XS, and the XR look very similar. And so people were concerned, like, why would you make three different phones who look almost exactly the same? What will be the difference? Well, yes, even the XR got a bit better battery life, but is this enough for people that basically buy the exact same phone or they wanted a better upgrade? So I already compared the iPhone X with the iPhone XS, with the iPhone XR, even with the iPhone 8. I will not compare with every single iPhone because there is no need for that. So it's time to answer the question, should you invest your money? Should you buy an iPhone X, XS or an XR in 2024? First, I have to say I had an iPhone XS and I have to say that it was a good phone. Like I drained about it a little bit up to 75% when I gave it to my dad, but it's not lagging. It's not bugging. Honestly, the battery life is great. Yes, he used it quite a lot. Well, after work, obviously, but it still kind of feels that the battery falls down a little bit too quickly than normally. But after all, I would compare it with the current phone that I have and the battery life has changed a lot. But despite that, the phone is working great. The only thing that I don't know about this phone is for how many years it will be software support. You know, we have to get the latest software updates if we want to use most of our apps on maximum limit. So we don't know until when the iPhone X, the XS or the XR will be supported. So if you answer the question, should you buy any of these phones in 2024? I will say no. You don't need this phone. Yes, the main reason is you don't know for how many years you'll be software support. It's cheaper than what it used to be because look how many iPhones came after this one. I get it. But you can get an iPhone 12 for pretty good affordable price right now. And you'll be guaranteed for the next two to three year. I believe that you'll be software supported. Also, it has a good camera. The screen is better. And they can fix a lot comparing the iPhone X to the iPhone 12 or any other newer model. You don't need the newest iPhone, but I believe that getting an iPhone X now is not the time. It has passed. Like, you don't know when these updates will come, if they will come and for how long they'll be supported. It's not like Google that promised seven years of software updates. We talk about Apple. Also, like it's considered as an older phone. So you might not need to invest the best of the best, but you can get a better phone. Yes, there is nothing wrong with the iPhone X, the XX or the XR. I'm not saying this, but I just think that it's considered as an older phone and Comparing the battery life to the newest iPhones, you might need to invest in something a little bit better. Okay guys, that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you have an iPhone X, XS or XR. Do you plan to upgrade and to which iPhone? Are you waiting for the latest one, the iPhone 16? Or are you going to buy some of the older versions? I think that everything from iPhone 12 to the newest one just works great. 
I already filmed a video about unboxing an iPhone 12, technically gave it to my mom for her birthday. I have to say, it is a good working functioning phone, so I don't see a reason why you should get the best of the best. Yes, if you are a content creator or use your camera a lot and making lots of videos, you might need a better camera, but I feel like for a daily task, like mostly scrolling on social media or casually posting, the iPhone 12 will do a perfectly good job. I'm not dashing out on the iPhone X or any of the others because I even own one. But let's just say seeing how phone market have changed, I believe that you might need to get an upgrade from this one just to be safe with these software updates because I have shared this before, but now on my iPhone 6s, I can't upgrade it anymore and I can use some of the apps because I need to have a certain software update that I don't have of this one. But that will be the video. Hope you do it. Please smash that like button, make a like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!